Kenya plans to borrow an additional $750 million, an equivalent of 67.65 billion shillings to finance development projects by reopening its international eurobond issued in June that raised $2 billion. Now, in a statement to newsrooms, Treasury Secretary uh, Henry Rotich said the National Treasury would seek to tap the recently issued sovereign bond to finance ongoing I think projects. It's a, it's a brilliant plan. Because one of the challenges we've had is the uh, high cost of borrowing in the country. And the reason there's been high cost of borrowing in the country for private sector companies has been because of government borrowing and crowding out private sector investors in the domestic market. Now by them going to the international markets where there's a surplus of capital and, and a limitation of opportunities, it is brilliant because they're not crow crowding us out in our domestic in our domestic market. We can now go and borrow from, uh, from commercial banks. The second reason I think it makes sense is if you look at the oversubscription of the last Eurobond, it was oversubscribed several times over. So there's still significant appetite for, for, Euro, for, the, for, you know, for this sort of capital. It's also brilliant because then you're also bringing in a hard currency to come and fund some of our infrastructure projects where we require hard currency. Roads, ports, railways are not built in Kenya shillings. They're built in dollars. The currency is dollars. And it's important that we do not put too much pressure on our, on our Kenya shilling by going into the market to buy the dollars when you can bring the dollars in to finance our long-term assets. I think the other point I wanted to make is that there's a lot of appetite by international investors to participate in, uh, in the African growth story, and particularly Kenya. And the Eurobond gives them that, that opportunity.